Interior, a bookstore, night. We're at a bookstore shelf. There's a party in the background, but Tom Major, 25 to 35, is not interested in it. He's just been stood up by Beatrice, his date. That's why he's still got a bouquet of flowers in his hand. He reads her message again and again on his phone. He's upset, looks around, at the flowers, and shakes his head. He sees a waiter off screen and waves him or her over. Tom puts the phone and flowers aside. A waiter walks in with a tray with alcohol. He grabs many drinks and stashes them on a shelf. As the waiter leaves, Tom empties a few drinks straight away, but he's still got a few drinks left. That's when he notices a woman next to him. She is Sigourney, 25 to 35, but she prefers to be called Scotty. She's reading by the shelf. Hey, here's for outer space. Want to join in? Scotty doesn't really notice Tom and doesn't turn. Uh -huh. Okay. As a joke, Tom looks upwards and says a Star Trek line. Please, Scotty, beam me up from here. Scotty hears her name mentioned. She turns around towards Tom with a smile. <laughs> yes, you were saying? What? You said something? No, I just said, beam me up, Scotty. Tom starts to smile and looks disbelieving at Scotty. Wait, your name isn't actually Scotty. Well, actually it's Sigourney, but my gaming nick is Scotty. Wait, a gamer by the name of Sigourney, like Sigourney Weaver? Scotty has heard this question a thousand and one times. Oh, you're a fast learner. Blame my parents. They love the Alien movie. Okay, so you're named after the Alien girl, and you're calling yourself Scotty. Nah, you just made that up. <laughs> no, that's the truth, Ruth. <laughs> Cue at May's laughter, right? <laughs> but the reason I use a nondescript male nickname, like Scotty, is because then I get less sexist remarks and requests from teenage gamers to show my boobs. Tom gets it. He throws his hands up. There's no comeback on that. So he pours over the two remaining whiskey shots in one glass and hands it over. Scotty takes a sip and looks at the bouquet of flowers. Tom looks at it too. Well, she invited me here tonight. I really didn't want to come. And then she texted me and... and went out with my best friend. So, here we are. Tom gets a drunk idea, grabs the bouquet, and then hands it over to Scotty. She takes a sip and just looks at him. With an extended arm, he shakes the bouquet. Take it. Since Scotty doesn't want the flowers either, Tom just shrugs his shoulders indifferently. He throws the flowers back where they were, empties the whiskey glass, and turns to leave. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'll beam your flowers up. He turns back as Scotty makes a buzzing, beaming sound with her mouth as she extends her hand and grabs the flowers like a robot. She smells the flowers and smiles at Tom. <sighs> we're expecting to get laid by giving her these flowers. Maybe hopeful to get laid with me instead because I accepted your bouquet. Whoa, whoa. So now you're not only a gamer with a dude's name, but suddenly also a uh, master shrink? She smiles and holds a finger to her cheek. Whoops. <laughs> Tom shakes his head and mouths, fuck you, to her. He's had enough of this night and walks off. Scotty realizes she's just being really mean. Flowers in hand, she catches him up. Hey, look. I know the feeling. And sometimes I just say these stupid things because I want to be funny. But... She shrugs her shoulders. What can you do? Tom looks at her. Well, alien girl, you're obviously way out of orbit. She impersonates a damsel in distress that sounds like Marilyn Monroe. Oh, what do you mean? How can you tell I'm the eternal and chronic single with poor manners? Tom chuckles. She's funny in a self-deprecating way, but without any self-pity. So, what brought such a dainty douchebag like you here? <laughs> I heard that the bookshelves here were great to hang around by, and I was promised to be left alone. Scotty winks her eye and holds up the bouquet and the drink. Apparently, they lie. Look, you're nuts, and I'm starting to get an allergic reaction from you. Hi, I'm Tom Major, by the way, but I prefer Major Tom. When he says Major Tom, he makes a little fan-like movement with his fingers that fly out like flickering stardust. Major Tom. Oh yeah? And you call me crazy. They shake hands and smile. I'm Sigourney Jones, aka Scotty. I bet you wish you could actually beam people up every time they ask you about your names. Spot on, Freud. You'd be the first. So, Space Boy, what's your story?
Well, the usual. I'm just waiting for the mothership to bring me home. Well, Major, so am I. So am I.